Tri City Sport, excuse me, Tri City Sports Now. I'm Marky Bilson, and we're talking a little bit about Citadel. And boy, the Citadel is, you know, is there a coach more well liked but less missed at ETS? Because it was baseball. And really, nobody really cared because he actually had some success against Tennessee. Uh, he actually did, Skull was a likable person. He was like, at a time when everybody at ETSU seemed to be shunning me, he would actually, you know, exchange emails with me. I was working in showcase baseball then. Uh, I mentioned Jacob Sweeney was a guy that uh, played in the league. He'd played at ETSU. Uh, and I had, uh, you know, I said, what about other players? We'd like to try to recruit them and all this. And I would do this for a lot of coaches. He was the one who had most communication. I want to help my ex-players out. What? You can get them a chance in the independent minors? Let's do it. He would exchange it. He's now 10 and 40 at the Citadel after that sweep at the hands of ETSU. Joe Panucci is on his way to his second winning season, and although the Bucks are 10 and 10, and their season-ending series with uh, Samford will not be for the conference regular season title. In fact, ETSU is now in sixth place and uh, 10 and 10 in the conference, but 31 and 17 overall. Citadel is 3 and 18. Remember the Citadel, I mean, this is a school that went to the College World Series once. I know it was 1990. I know it was a million years ago. The Citadel prides itself on baseball. And I'm Skull's personality kept him in high cotton at ETSU. Also, he, the vast majority of his coaching career was when David Mullins was the athletic director. And Mullen, you had to murder somebody, and even then he probably would have come out and tried to spin it that the person needed murdered. Uh, I mean, you, you could not get fired at ET. And somebody's going to show me one person who did or something. But I mean, remember this. You say, remember, uh, at the end of the ball game, we need a three-year, we need you to set it up. Traditional point guard, don't try to be a hero, Tim. He didn't try to set that up. Maybe seeing the tape of the previous game, the uh, Bucks played in the NCAA tournament against Wake Forest. You know, you'd think that you would watch that if you were the new coach. Instead, they were, you know, basically, Smith hogged the ball, never looked at anybody at the end in a uh, bucket-to-tie-it situation. He was forced in the corner for a horrible shot at the end of Wake Forest because he looked at no one else, and Bucks lost the game. You know, he was a ball hog. Next year, Bucks are down by three. There's 13 seconds left. What does Smith do? He drives the lane. They need a three to tie. He drives the lane. That's Tim Smith. I mean, no fundamentals whatsoever. Now, at that point, maybe you'd say, geez, uh, Murray didn't do his homework. Next year, the Bucks, after two straight NCAA tournament berths and four straight regular season Southern Conference championships, I should say uh, Southern Conference championships of some sort, they fall to 7-19 and against D1 competition. Bartow is given a contract extension by David Mullins. Mullins would never admit that he was wrong about anything, and he was wrong about everything. So Tony Skoll was the baseball coach at that time. So, you know, 
What difference did it make if ETSU baseball put forth losing record after losing record after losing record? It didn't. Anyway, and they gave him a new stadium the first year he uh, gets to benefit from. They finished three games over 500. And now they're 14 over. Admittedly, some selective scheduling, but still. And I mentioned that, I just wondered, I, I don't know of anything, but is Skull, you know, I have no inside, this total speculation. When you see Joe Panucci put up winning records at ETSU, better records than what Skull did at ETSU, and the Citadel is 3-18 in the conference and 10-40 and down in Charleston in Skull's second year, I'm not trying to grease the skid. look that good to the, it does not look that good to the lay person. Let's just put it that way. So. I'm Marky Bilson. To begin, I wanted to talk to you about, but after that sports update, I wanted to talk to you about English Premier League soccer. And again, you know, this was, nobody knew anything about English Premier League soccer uh, a generation ago. Not in the United States. I'm sure that Manchester United was still, if not Real Madrid, the most popular team in the world. It's meaning less and less and less as we expand the playoffs more and more and more. It's okay to finish fifth in Major League Baseball. Used to be you had to finish first. Absolutely. American League champ, National League, first place teams made it. You know, the idea of who's watching 14 against 15. I get it, Okay. And so different schedulings and divisions and all that. Do we need five teams in there? Four was pretty good. When you had four teams, you don't need ten. That's what we have now. There are as many baseball playoff rounds as there are hockey playoff rounds. Think about that. Colin Kaepernick kneeling for the anthem is a hero. I mean, this is, you know, and this is very prevalent used to be American exceptionalism. Barack Obama, you know, they would ask him about, you know, I'm sure that... Uh National sport becomes embraced by a certain amount of the population. Listen to me here. And this... Baseball is boring. Football is barbaric. NASCAR proves Toyota's better than domestic automobiles. Last year, Philippe Bondi wrote in Forbes about a Gallup poll that found while new, while few people 55 or older watch soccer, it was as popular as basketball among those age 18 to 34, twice as popular as baseball in the same age group. More telling was soccer's popularity among self-described liberals, alluding to the attack on American societal norms that I just mentioned. There are additional reasons, in my opinion, why soccer is becoming more and more popular. And the American sports, like NASCAR and baseball, ought to look at this. Soccer is rigidly timed, and in today's society, something is going to last 30 minutes. Maybe this will last an hour. No, you know what it is. Also, soccer is low scoring. Remember what I tell you. All these people that want to make in all this close game, like baseball used to be, like NASCAR used to be also in the English Premier League, the regular season means something. By contrast, hockey always had an expansive playoff field. What did they always Yesterday, even the last 18 minutes of Manchester City's 4-1 victory against Brighton, we're City, excuse me. There are a lot of things American sports can learn from English soccer. Making sure the champ is a true champ, 